Hiya, I'm Charlie and I'm the Education and Conservation Manager here at Wildwood Devon. The Crayfish Project over 2024 has been going incredibly well. We've just finished our last survey of the year. We've done nine surveys in total. We've been surveying the River Colm and the River Creedy to rescue crayfish from those declining areas. In total for the year, we've rescued over 150 crayfish. Those crayfish are now in our hatcheries. They've been divided into breeding groups. And so the breeding season's just started. We are seeing signs of breeding. And so we're really, really hopeful that by next year, we will have some eggs with us. At the beginning of the year, we basically put a load of traps into the rivers. They sit at the bottom of the river in the riverbanks. They don't capture a crayfish. The crayfish can come and go. So they basically sit there, the crayfish wander in. And then when we do the checks, we go out and we check each trap in hopes that there are crayfish inside. We pop those crayfish into a bucket and then we bring them back to the hatchery and acclimate them into our tanks. The females, will stay with us for hopefully about two years where they'll breed and then we'll release those back into wild safe areas and the males hopefully will only stay with us for a year so they'll stay for the breeding season and then again they'll be released into those safe areas back into the wild. The crayfish arc site we're hoping will be able to home about 5,000 crayfish per arc site and then the next part of the project will be looking for some extra money to build another one. It's a lovely deep area covered in stone, so lots of areas for the crayfish to kind of get into. We've also created bigger habitat so the crayfish can kind of go in there and hide away. We've had lots of volunteers helping with the project. We aren't quite finished with the art site yet. What we'll need to do is put in a fence around it and then come spring we'll need to um, plant it up. So we're looking for more volunteers to help us if anyone would like to do that. A huge, huge thank you to everyone that's helped with the project our funders, Natural England, Southwest Water and Devon Environmental Foundation. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you. And then a huge thank you to all of the volunteers that helped with every aspect of the project, the Environmental Agency and Kia. Huge thank you and hopefully we can carry on working with you. All of this is leading to saving Devon's native crayfish. <laughs>